Hey guys, Morgan's Maintenance. Today's tool review is yet another screwdriver from Klein Tools. I wish I could do some other videos besides Klein screwdrivers, but it seems like they're the only ones coming out with new tools. It seems like ever since they swapped over to Lowe's, they are just banging them out one after another, trying to give the Lowe's new SKUs, I guess, to kind of get people in the store and get people buying Klein at Lowe's. And this one is the Impact 11-in-1 Rationing Screwdriver. Uh, got this information from Jonathan LD312. He commented on that short that I made of the new flip socket sizes. Part number on this one is 32500 HDRT. Again, it's the 11 in 1 impact rated ratcheting screwdriver slash nut driver. And it looks like this on the handle, and it's not much different than your regular 11 in 1 impact. So if you've already bought that screwdriver, this one's been my go-to screwdriver. In fact, whenever I open up my back door, I keep this one back in behind my seat, as you can see here. And this is the screwdriver that I grab out if I'm going in somewhere and I'm not taking a tool bag, I'm not even taking my MP1 or my MP2X. I'm just grabbing a screwdriver because I got a feeling it's all I'm gonna need. This one's the one that I grab in this Riley sheath and I use that. So it's not much different than that except for I typically use this screwdriver I only use the 3.8 setup with the Phillips bit, and then the other side of that is the one that you can change out. So I've got the slotted. So I got both Phillips are slotted, and then I leave mine set up with a quarter and five sixteenths magnetic Malco inside of it, instead of using this five sixteenths with the extra screwdrivers. But I can also just change it out there in the back of my truck. But because of that, I was actually even looking at maybe getting another one of these anyways, and I was going to leave it up, set up kind of in its original form. Uh, because 11 and one screwdrivers, I typically like these better than any of the bit holding screwdrivers. The bit holding screwdrivers are a lot more bang for your buck in your tool bag because you've got a bit holder and then you've also got, you know, a screwdriver and all those things. But I much prefer to just take an 11 and one bit and, and switch it around like this than I do to dig out bits out of a bit holder and change them out it, it, it's just my preference you know i could see why anybody somebody might like either direction of that but that's just my preference so that's why i was going to go ahead and get another one of these so whenever i saw the ratcheting version even though again i'm typically not a ratcheting screwdriver guy i decided i'm gonna go ahead and get this one anyways one is so i can see it i can share it with you guys and i really kind of after i watched jonathan's video i like where this ratcheting feature is and i'm going to explain why i feel like to me that this is kind of maybe something I might actually use in comparison to the other ones that typically I just find myself, I just give up on them and I don't use them. So let's go ahead and get into this screwdriver in comparison to your regular 11 and one and I'll talk about the differences. So in looking at the Impact 11 and one versus the Impact 11 and one ratcheting screwdriver, of course, one of your differences is gonna be cost. The Impact 11 and one is gonna run you $21. You can get this on Amazon, uh, you can get this at Lowe's now, and then I think Home Depot even still carries this, or at least it's in my store. I'm not sure if it's in all of them, but Home Depot does still sell some Klein. They just don't have as much as they used to. And then your Impact 11-in-1 ratcheting screwdriver is going to run you $30. Right now, it's only at Lowe's. It wasn't in my store. I actually had to order it and ship it to my house, uh, so I had to do that. I'm sure it's going to be one of those things where it's really only available at Lowe's for X amount of time. And then it will be released to where you'll start seeing it on Amazon and in other stores as well. So that's the main difference is basically $8. So if you're a rasting screwdriver person for eight bucks, it's probably worth the upgrade. And if you're not, then you know you might want to just get the regular one. The next difference you would think might be the size handle wise. The handles are pretty much exactly the same, you know, feel as far as the depth of it. The rasting one here on my left is a hair longer uh, than the other one. And it's basically the difference of this ratcheting feature, that difference right there. So maybe a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch longer, not nothing significant that you would probably even notice it. So it's not much difference there. And then the only other difference that I kind of noticed was on the inside. When you look at the half inch nut driver, uh, the impact 11 and one looks more just like your standard, you know, looks just like a regular old nut size, like a nut, regular nut driver that you would put on there versus the impact, uh, 11 and one ratcheting kind of looks like a 12 point half inch i don't even think i can really get it in the picture because it's so shiny but maybe you can see those teeth and jonathan asked me to check so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now because it almost looks like your regular 11 and one with these little lines right here you've kind of got grooves on both sides you can see one there 
and one over here that that might would fit down in there if you wanted to so in case you had a you could just keep you some 11 and ones kind of maybe set up in certain ways and then you could swap them in and out of your screwdriver but it doesn't go down in there so I, I tried that for him he asked me to so i checked it out and it doesn't seem to work and the only other difference that i noticed was the impact 11 one the regular non-ratcheting version it is still a half inch this thing is a half inch fits down in that socket but it has a ball bearing uh, in order to kind of keep that friction fit and they have gotten rid of that on the ratcheting version because of whatever they've got going on here but it still holds in there you know kind of just as well it's got the same amount of movement to me it might have a little bit more in and out than what this one has but nothing significant and it might actually be a little bit easier that was my other thing i was going to say is that it, to me it feels easier to get in and out i've usually got to put my thumb kind of here and kind of pull out at the same time on the original impact 11 and 1 but this one seems like you know it slides in and out a whole lot easier i can just pull that in and out uh, so maybe it's a upgrade that they made after they noticed something on this one or for some reason they couldn't do that on the ratcheting i have no idea but that those are pretty much the main differences similarity wise i'll put a list up here of the description all the bits to me are exactly the same i don't think there's anything different on any of the bits so if you've got the 11 and 1 same exact bits it's really basically the same screwdriver, very few minor modifications. The main thing is gonna be that ratcheting feature. And it works the same as the other Klein ratcheting screwdrivers. If you turn it to the left, it's going to be to tighten something. If you turn it to the right, it's going to be to loosen something or you can put it in the middle and it's that fixed position. But I do like the ratcheting feature on this one much better than the others. I might actually use this one. In fact, now I know for sure but I'm going to go ahead and give this one to my buddy because this would be something that I might actually use. And the main reason why I don't like ratcheting screwdrivers are because where it is on this one, and it's typical on most of them, I can't really reach this without moving my hand up the screwdriver to kind of change positions. And then I got to move all the way back. It's that way on the Impact 13-in-1 ratcheting screwdriver and then also that 15-in-1. I've got to move my hand up that handle to use it and then I got to move myself back. I really like the location uh, where they put it on this one because I can basically use this screwdriver and I can change direction. So like if I'm tightening something and then I want to swap it, it's right there at my hand. I don't have to move my hand at all. That will be something that will cause me to actually use the resting feature on this. And that's why I don't use it on these. So I don't know if anybody else is the same as me. I know many people like ratcheting screwdrivers, but that right there is why I don't typically like them. And this one, and then the vessel ball handle, and I, I like it, but that's because it's the same exact thing. I can reach and turn the direction without having to move my hand on the screwdriver. So I really like that. And another reason why I like that they put it here instead of here is because now I can even sit here and spin this, and I still don't have to move my hand to do that. So if I've got something that is really loose and you know it doesn't take any torque at all, I can sit here and just kind of thumb that and use that as a feature that I can just sit there and keep spinning and spinning it real fast without having to turn my wrist. That's pretty nice. And then the third thing is, because they didn't put it out here on the end like they did on all their other screwdrivers, if this becomes my go-to instead of my just regular 11-in-1, I still fits in my Riley tool sheath, which Jonathan showed this on a short of his. So I can still use it with this because of the way they did it. And that bulb is still out here towards the end. So all around, I really like this in comparison to the other ratcheting screwdrivers that Klein offers. One is I like 11-in-1s better than bit holders. And then I also like where it's located on here. And it seems to work fairly well. If I move it to the, you know, if I want to tighten something, so I move it to the left, I've got a square. Let me get the square number one, and I'll put it into this uh, receptacle here. If I can look around the camera, and it's, you know, the same as any other ratcheting screwdriver that you're going to use. So you turn it to the left, it lets you tighten something. I turn it to the right, it's going to let me loosen something. And again, I can still put it in the middle there with that one click and I can reach right there from my hand. And now I can go either direction that I want to. And again, once something is really, really loose, 
I could sit there and spin this even. I can't do that right now because this is a new box, so that's pretty tight. So all around the features of this one, I just really like it. And again, I was looking to get another 11 in one anyways, just to keep one in its original form factor. Nothing has changed. Uh, if you want to build your own screwdriver by putting a Malco and a bit driver or whatever else that you want to, as long as it fits in a half inch socket, uh, you can build your own screwdriver with the impact 11 in one ratcheting the same way as you could with the original. So if that's what you like, uh, you can still do that as well. So, so yeah, guys, that is the Impact 11-in-1 Ratcheting Screwdriver. If you like ratcheting screwdrivers and you've liked your Impact 11-in-1, I don't know if there's any other ratcheting 11-in-1 type screwdrivers out there. Let me know that in the comments below. Uh, but I'm pretty excited about this one. You know, I wasn't too crazy about this one because I knew I probably wouldn't like it. And again, I've already planned on gifting this one to a buddy anyways, so this might become my go-to. Maybe it's going to change my mind on ratcheting screwdrivers. Who knows? Maybe it'll be something that I might use more often, but let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Uh, let me know if you got any questions about it. Uh, again, you'd have to go to Lowe's. That's the only place that it's available, but I hope this was useful. More than anything, just letting you know it's out there, uh, but hope you guys stay safe. Have a blessed day. I'll see you on the next video.